cannot manage time. We all have 168 hours in the week. We all have 1,440 minutes in every single day. You see, whether we use it or whether we lose it, it comes down to some basic principles, tools, ideas, skills, habits that can help us to be able to maximize and optimize the finite resource that we have called time. We have to get facts sorted. We have to be very careful. We can be a very productive, paranoid person if we look for empirical evidence. This is not the time for knee-jerk reactions. The people that get through difficult situations are not the ones that rely solely upon it. It's vital for any presentation, live or virtual, that you are crystal clear on the purpose of your presentation and the two or three key points you need to make to achieve that purpose. And when I ask people the question, what is the purpose of your presentation? It's frightening how few people are able to answer the question. Uh, we think somebody who's emotionally intelligent is somebody who is achieving what they want, what they want, and helping others achieve what they want. So it's about our own goals and it's about other people's goals. And here's, I've shortened that, to be living and working successfully alongside other people in the world. Of course we've got to plan. We're salespeople. Well, of course we plan our calls. We are, of course, going to research the prospect. We're going to dig into their background and their likely pains. That's not changed. We would like to know who their competitors are, and who our competitors are, and think it through. Of course, we would set some objectives for the pool. Most of these um, um, definitions is by Kevin Cashman. Um, and you'll see that this is about, it's a really wide definition. So uh, if you just keep scrolling through these three, Bob, you'll see them. So this is about a um, really wide definition of leadership, about anybody that's self-expressing, who's adding value. That's the, the critical piece for me here. Anybody that is showing up to add value is a leader. I know that. Then let me share with you my favorite quote. I use it a lot and for me it sums up the communication challenge. It's from George Bernard Shaw and it's the single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it's taking place. And most of us think that we're communicating clearly and effectively. But is that an illusion?